Professor Tony Busalaki works in Maryland's Department of Atmospheric and Oceanic Science. He also happens to be one of the world's foremost experts in an area that's been a bit of a political hot button these days, climate change. Tony runs the Earth System Science Interdisciplinary Center. It partners with NOAA and NASA. And together, they're studying just how climate change impacts an area very near and dear to many of us, the Chesapeake Bay. We first started, everything was pretty much done by hand, hand tongs, trot line, you pulled them by hand, you netted the grass by hand, everything's pretty much automatic now. And I think that if we want to stay in business, we're gonna to have to change or we're gonna go out of business. Captain Parks and his son, Ben Parks II, face an uncertain future thanks to a Chesapeake Bay that has been battered by pollution, disease, algal blooms, overfishing, and other problems. University of Maryland Extension Specialist Don Webster is an aquaculture expert. He has been working with the watermen for nearly 40 years and says the bay is under stress, that the oyster industry is barely holding on. When I first began in the 70s, there were several thousand watermen who uh, harvested. We had 38 processing plants, shucking houses in the state. We have about eight shucking houses left. Only three of them are of any size, and if they weren't importing oysters, they wouldn't be in business. And uh, oystermen were probably down to about 200, 250 who actually work at it full time. University of Maryland research being conducted at Essex the Earth System Science Interdisciplinary Center aims to help Captain Parks and many other stakeholders around the Bay by providing them critical long-term environmental information. Well, the Chesapeake Bay is really a, a microcosm of the Earth System for a variety of reasons. We have the influence of the Bay the, itself, the atmosphere, the ocean, the land, the terrestrial ecosystem. The research looks at how all the Earth's environmental systems fit together much like a puzzle, using data from NOAA, NASA, and other sources. The goal, to provide the forecasting tools for policymakers to help them make decisions, years and even decades into the future. We bring that information down to scales that matter, in which society can make decisions. Essex Chesapeake Bay Forecasting System, led by Director Raghu Murtagadi, is taking the lead on this research. A wide range of state and federal officials, watermen, river keepers, and other stakeholders are part of the team, working to tailor the information into a usable form. Essex Tony Busalaki says the result will be a regional Earth system model, a prototype forecast of the environment that will one day be in routine use. Now we're at that point where we can look out 20, 30 years into the future and see that we have a realistic prospect of predicting what the environment is going to be like on timescales of seasons to years to decades. Back out on the Chop Tank River, the captain's lady crosses the path of one of the last oystermen in the area to use hand tongs to gather oysters. It's hard work. Extension specialist Don Webster says information about harsh winters or upcoming drought conditions would be a big help to industry and the watermen. A forecast showing increased salinity in the bay would help predict occurrences of diseases like MSX and Dermo. If you knew when to predict those with some probability, it would really help you with being able to manage both the natural populations and especially with, with aquaculture, and that's largely where the industry seems to be going right now. The state of Maryland is working on large-scale methods to restore the oyster beds. Seed oysters, like these coming from tanks at the Horn Point Lab, will be used to restore the state's important oyster resource. Having environmental information from the Chesapeake Bay forecasting system could have a real impact on restoring not just the oyster beds, but on the entire ecosystem. The system we've developed is designed to provide end users the range of future possible outcomes, such as sea level rise, uh, potential for bacteria in the bay, nutrient loading, to guide uh, where different oysters could go, in the future, Busalaki predicts a proposed national climate service using research from the University of Maryland 
could routinely provide a wide range of environmental predictions to end users, including Captain Parks and his fellow watermen. Five years down the road from now, most of your older watermen are gonna be gone. It's our responsibility to protect this from the younger generation that's coming along.